welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And today we're going to talk about something or other that happens to all of us and what your coping mechanism is for it. And let me ask you, Mr. Magazine, and I, I was sick of this because of something or other that happened yesterday. What do you do when you sell something and then you suddenly realize you left a fair amount of money on the table, or left money on the table. What do you do? Well, it depends on the reason. Okay. So, say my employee listed something by mistake, whether buy it now or put an offer in or something. Okay, perfect example. Yeah, yep. That's happened before because I don't do auction. I don't do offers in auction, but sometimes their first listing may have that, and they don't, do, you know, uncheck it. So it's happened before. Um, you know, I don't. I, years ago, you know, the old. Mr. Magazine would probably get very upset, start yelling and stuff, but now it's just, it's just part of the game, you know, it's part of doing business, you're going to win some, lose some, um, just make sure it doesn't happen very often, you fix it and move on. Actually, wow, that's actually very, very good advice. All right, we'll see you next video. <laughs> now, that's um, actually really, really good advice. Um, and the reason why this was coming up was because I had my uh, whatnot auction, 2 p.m. or 2 p.m. <laughs> Don't show up at 2 p.m. unless you're gonna be really, really early. 4 p.m. Tuesdays. <laughs> 4 p.m. Tuesdays Eastern <laughs> ephemera. Um, and there were some items in there that were actually decent items. Ephemera comics. Uh, the ephemera auction. Okay. There were some decent items in there, yep. and they they sold for the opener. So I started everything at three dollars. Um, and a couple of them like, wow, that's a lot better than that. Well, they knew what they were doing, right? They didn't know what they were doing when they bought the stuff. Hey, good for them. They're going to come back, and that's positive. Sure. But what got me thinking was, as the auction was going on, I'm like, wow, that auction, that, that item was better than that. And 20 minutes later, I didn't remember what the items were that I yeah. that I let think that I let go. Yeah, I didn't let them go too cheaply. What but you would the, call a rounding error. Exactly, <laughs> and and. You said that earlier on. Why don't you tell what would have happened, you know, 10 years ago, 15 well, years ago? what happened when my sister was listing one time on early eBay when she was doing the, um, was it the bold, not the bold, but the featured auctions. By mistake, when featured auctions were $100, she just kept listing $100 listings, and the items she was listing were $10. And I must say that I did flip out on her. <laughs> Rightly so, maybe. I don't know. But, you know. If you make the mistake once, you should catch it within the next one. But she just kept, kept plugging away <laughs> those hundred dollar you know, features, um, you know. But now you know you can fix it because we talked to eBay. They obviously refunded us, so um, it's just you know a ten minute setback. You know, and just you move on. Um, just like the listers, if they put something in the offer, and you know, as long as I'm not selling a ten thousand dollar item for a hundred dollars, I'm not going to lose much sleep over it. You know, it's usually a fifty dollar item for ten bucks. You know, big deal. I'll make it up on the next one. You know, so. Yeah, and I and I had something like that happen uh, to me that I had put a, and we're going back many years, I'd put a lot up, but I'd forgotten to change the price. I was doing individual magazines at like $12, yeah. and then I put a lot of like 12 magazines. I should have been, I, I should have put it up at about $100. I put it up at 12 right. and it got purchased immediately. And I'm like, oh, and then the guy was making me, he says, well, wait, <laughs> I just bought the whole lot for 12. Why am, yeah. you know, why do you want, you know, 15 or whatever it is each on the magazines? I said, well, because you got a really good deal on the lot. Because well, I, <laughs> I didn't change my price. Exactly. I got two examples. One, I just did this, I think yesterday I left 30 bucks on the table. Um, you know, I get a lot of offers, and, you know, I get distracted. I'm talking. I'm accepting. You know, most of the offers I accept if it's, obviously, if it's under $10, I want to look and see what it is. But if it's 30 bucks, well, 30 bucks is good. So I accepted it. Well, it was a $60 Mickey Mouse figurine. So it's one of those things where I screwed up. You know, the old me would have probably canceled it, relisted it, and pissed off the guy. And he probably would have, like, given me a negative or kind of taken eBay. But, you know, I said, hey, you know what? We sold 280 items today. I lost. I didn't even lose money on the one, but I right. just didn't make thirty more. You know, um, and it, you know that's going to happen every now and then. It is what it is. You know. Yeah. I, I will say a little tip out there uh, to people: it does happen from time to time. And again, your first inclination is, you know, geez, I don't really want to sell it. Just sell it. Just just accept it right. and move on. Learn from it. But sometimes people get a really really good deal from you. And they're not real fast to pay. <laughs> and I would say, well, there really isn't the uh, reminders anymore, any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I would keep my mouth shut till four days have gone up. And mm -hmm. then, you know, if they didn't, haven't paid after four days, you know, eBay allows you to close those out as unpaid items. Sure. 
I certainly would close that out at on paid item after four days. Usually, what I do is I leave oh. things open for you know a week, ten days, something you like that. Opportunity, you know, take advantage of it or lose out. Yep, yeah. and you know, and you're totally within the parameters of eBay yeah. at that point. Again, four days they allow you to cancel it after four days for non-payment. <laughs> Three days, 23 hours, 59, 59, and he's still not paid. Cancel. You know, so I'm not going to, you know, push the guy to pay me on something or other that he got a good deal. And certainly, um, we we both had any number of times where somebody doesn't pay on something. Then they, oh, geez, I, I didn't realize I had won it. And they go and make you the offer again on the item. Right. I'm certainly not taking the offer the next time sure. on it if I sold it too cheaply. Yeah. Um, but it will happen to you at some point. Um, and again, the right thing to do is exactly what Mr. Magazine was saying. Uh, you just accept that it happened. You try to figure out the reason why it happened. Uh, was it that you were distracted? Was it that, you know, and, and let me, didn't you at one point accept or almost accept some offer that you misread the number? And I'm going to say hmm. it was like $10 when you thought it was 100 or something other like that. I seem to recall something that you did years ago on yeah. that, too. And I had another guy, too, that wanted to make an offer on something, and I countered it like hundreds of dollars less. With one, you know, and he was honest and said, hey, this was an error. I know I'm going to pay you this. Just counter it back. And oh, wow. That's very nice. Yeah. Yep, so, you know. Well, and another area that I'm sure you've made a mistake in is... Um, with uh, be, because we use web a uh, web interpret, and so people can make us offers in foreign currency, mm -hmm. and I'm sure, uh, especially with Australian dollars or Canadian dollars, I'm sure you've kind of done a quick thing and said, oh, yeah. it's fifty, and not really noticed that it said Australian dollars before yeah. it. I try to double check them best I can and see the conversion rate and all that, the U.S. equivalent. Yep. You know. But if you're in a hurry and you see oh, 50 sure. and you're yeah. like, oh, okay, great. Well, and 50 bucks, I'm like, oh, geez. I, I just sold it for, for that. <laughs> I just I sold it for $17. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Um, so these things do happen to you. They will happen to you. I think the best coping mechanism is to realize that, you know, I've sold myself. I, I know you sold. Your numbers dwarf mine. But I've sold well over 100,000 items on eBay. I can't sit there and worry about one item that I sold for forty dollars yeah. that I should have sold for a hundred. Yeah. It it happens. Mm -hmm. um, honor the offer if you've taken it, um, and learn from it. And and I think that's what's the the best advice I think we can possibly give you on that. Um, I do have a little more advice for people. Okay. What do you think it is? Well, like something. They're gonna hit the like button, and we will see you next video. Take care. Bye bye.